Hi there, and welcome to episode two. Now, I've probably posted on several um, different uh, videos and comments saying, oh, I'm going to do this next, I'm going to do that next. Um, that's probably because my mind is so screwed up. Uh, my doctor reckons that uh, my metabolism turns things like bread and milk into opium in my brain, which is pretty weird. But that's another story. Um, I promise my... What just made me decide what topic to do today was good old Stizor putting up his uh, little promo for my company. Uh, thanks, Stizor. Um, yeah, I thought I'd have a go at the... Well, I'll go at... Look at um, the anti-natalist lobby. Well, they're interesting. Um... I can see it seems to be mostly American based, which is no surprise really, because uh, no offence you colonials, but we did send all our fanatics and criminals over there, sorry. Um, anyway, um, yeah, their central thesis is, as Steinberg will put it, life's crap like so, you just die. Or something like that. Uh, sorry for the bad impression, but <laughs> I like doing impressions. I may actually start up a new playlist just for impressions. Uh, tell me if you think that's a good idea. Um, probably isn't. Yeah, their central thesis is humanity is so incredibly stupid, incredibly um, destructive that it really should sort of make itself die out and to an extent if you look at some of the weirdness out there the, the vast it seems it's always seemed to me that the vast majority of humanity is um, defined by stupidity fanaticism and um, downright pig-headedness um, Really, when somebody says, oh, that's humane, I think not that it's particularly charitable or nice, but that it's particularly nasty or malicious, because that's just how I see human beings. Um, I know it's a very cynical worldview, but it's a cynical worldview born of uh, um, life experience thus far. And, yeah, it's... It's just how I see things. And I can emphasize from that point that the idea that for the crimes of what may be a majority, what may be a minority, the whole shebang has to go. That's bullshit. Sorry, that is complete bullshit. One thing they have touched on that I really want to do something about, um, as of concerned citizen of planet earth we have an overpopulation crisis you may not be aware of this but we have a massive overpopulation crisis there seems to be um, some kind of um, I wouldn't say a conspiracy because that would make me look like an idiot but there's a bias towards um, covering up this problem but recently none other than Sir David Attenborough said we have an overpopulation crisis we have an overpopulation crisis because when i started making nature mu movies there were three billion humans on this planet there are now 6.7 it is ridiculous um and yeah we're headed because of the way that modern lifestyles are so destructive to the world around us we are headed for quite a um, quite a big clusterfuck in the future if we're not careful. I mean, not just from the point of view of you know, your green lobby. I don't necessarily have that many sympathies with the green lobby, other than a few friends involved. But from just sheer drain on resources. I mean, recently I was uh, co-opted into doing some work for a school, and I learnt whilst working at these uh, this primary school that. All the primary schools in the area are running at over capacity. They are adding classes. 
adding form entry, which is build, pushing their buildings, pushing their, 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 their grounds, pushing their staff to its limit. Um, and it just can't go on. Um, you have too many people. And to an extent, a, a sort of a nutter faction is always going to come up with um, ideas like anti-natalism. Um, well, anti-natalism would be the nuttiest form of, as I see it, of what's called the child-free movement. Um, that is, people who elect not to have children most of the time, not just for personal reasons, but for the reason of sorting out this complete uh, population clusterfuck we have, because um, it's there. Uh, it's there, um, it's getting worse, and it's tied in, not only with that, it's sort of social problems, um, with, with sort of um, breakdown in society. Fam, um, it's not just the problem that there are too many kids, it's that the people who are having kids, basically based on how society is built and that, oh, everybody is expected to get married and have kids, just aren't cut out to be parents. I'm sorry, they're just not. And social services are overrun. Um, the mental health departments are overrun because of that reason too. We really, as a species, need to look into this issue. We need to discuss it, we need to debate it. Because if we don't talk now reasonably, we're going to have fanatics like Gary, like the anti-natalist lobby. They're going to gain some kind of foothold in their, their thinking, because when des things get desperate, the fanatics come out of the woodwork and the fanatics sound awfully pleasant suddenly because of the fact that things are just so fucked up and that what's that's what worries me i i am writing a science fiction novel at the moment with the the guy it's a totalitarian um sort of dystopia from the point of view of the guy who creates this totalitarian dystopia which makes it slightly different from i mean imagine 1984 was written by big brother it's got a completely different spin on the whole dystopia genre. Um, but, yeah, the, the guy, is, he is paranoid about this um, to a ridiculous extent. He's like a really bad exaggeration of me. And the, the measures he brings in rather rapidly get more and more unacceptable to the point where he's alienating a great deal of his population and pretty much his attitude to dissent is if an entire group turns around and questions his uh, policies they're clearly terrorists and should be hunted down uh, yeah so the guy goes completely nuts not just over this issue but over many others and but I think really what we need to do is have this discussion and really sort out so proper sex education is a must um, frankly how the right wing Christian, Christian lobby in America is getting away with um, saying oh you've got to have abstinence education you can't teach our kids about condoms no Bullshit. Sorry. But these guys are taking the piss. Um, it's no wonder that that is... America has this horrible teenage pregnancy. It's not as bad as Britain, but I think Britain, with it, Britain it's, uh, it's slightly uh, different. Um, although we have a proper, well, almost comprehensive sex education we do have to fight for some things to get in there it's only recently we had we have abolished the law that said um, a teacher can't mention homosexuality in a sex ed class which is rather stupid and it was a law that was so often flouted when i was at school that <laughs> frankly there was no point in it being there um but yeah my central point is 
you need that, like your first line of defence. Second line of defence, again, the evangelical lobby um, have a real problem with is abortion. It's not pleasant, but it's it's needed um, because some people are just just don't well some people are unfortunate in their circumstances um, others are just plain stupid and really if you're going to um, have them as parents you're setting yourself up for a real clusterfuck of a problem um, it's only going to come back on you later then sooner or later it, it, it will get as bad as Brian Bright's Autistic Nationalist Republic where they are pretty much judging every pregnancy's viability every parent and they're going into sort of minute bureaucratic detail and filling in forms and it becomes even worse than the sort of welfare state we have at the moment, which is it's a good thing that that the welfare state exists. It's a good thing that people are being helped, but the number of hoops that genuinely ill people have to jump through to get any support whatsoever. Um, I know this personally. I know from friends, and the or oh, not just genuinely. It, yeah, because um, it's it's um, it, there's a, it's not it's not perfect, but it it, it has its problem, and it definitely has its problems. But uh, yeah, so that's that's my that's my thing. Leave comments, um, make video responses if you feel like it. Um, but yeah, we really need to have this discussion because too many humans really fucks up the earth and although Steizel I think he mentioned in one of his videos that um, we the our future does lie in moving out from this planet but at the moment the technology is so unpredictable we have enough trouble getting somebody into orbit let alone um, sort of a permanent base on the moon or even landing on Mars I mean they put these Russian cosmonauts up in a uh, um, simulator for six months to represent a a journey to Mars with modern technology which the idea of being sat in a very small steel box for six months while you're you with the same people having the same bloody conversations over and over again it's a wonder those guys haven't killed each other yet I mean, there must be people logging onto the webcam thing. Think, is this the day somebody's going to snap? Is this the day somebody's going to snap? Because <laughs> it is, it is ridiculous. Um, what we really, we really need to put the money into investing in space technology. Cutting NASA was a really big mistake. Um, uh, cut your defense budget if you want to cut something um, ridiculous. Because you know you're fighting shadows. You don't fight shadows with um, guided missiles. You fight shadows with little groups, infantry, well-trained infantry, lots of lots of um, sort of small-scale weapons. You don't fight them with bloody great. Well, that's a discussion for another time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please do comment below um, and check out Stizor. Check out everyone I've um, I've recommended on my channel and. Um, if you've got the patience and um, my uh, company uh, blog is on here as well blog company Facebook page if you're interested in strange ass fiction and gaming it's half an hour